3-33 in the contest as we get ready for head coach J.W. Keekafer that is going to join us here now. And do we have you there, Coach? Yeah, I think you got me. It's a little soft. There we go. There we go. Now, now we, we got, got you. It. You lost your voice in this one, huh? A little bit oh. soft. <laughs> I need to drink more water, I think, is why <laughs> that. Um, really proud of our group. Uh, it was a fun battle today. Um, Augustana is a really, really good volleyball team. They bring a lot of pressure with their offense. Um, and Max Sellers is the real deal in left back. He is one of the best defenders in the country, one of the best liberos in the country overall. Um, and he does so many things to affect a match in the backcourt. Um, it's really cool to see what he does for his team and how important he is for his team. And um, we just decided we were going to keep the offense on him and keep, keep – bringing pressure from the middle of the court. Um, and then Keegan Brummett got going two in the left pin, and that was a lot of fun. So really proud of Keegan for you know having a tough first set and a half, and then he gets going with a bunch of kills. Um, and the offense got running there. Ben Heiss had a really good night offensively today on the right pin. Um, we got him a lot of really good one-on-one -on -one looks out throughout the match. Um, always fun to have David Marcus in the Carthage jersey and playing volleyball. Uh, we don't get that very often, so to have him on the court is, is um, exciting. and super happy to celebrate these seniors and, and I talked about this in the locker room and that this is such a culture thing for us and how much better we got throughout the year and it's about fighting for that guy next to you and fighting for that culture and fighting for um, making practice every day joyous to get better every single day so couldn't be more proud of Mitch of uh, Chewy of uh, I'm gonna miss somebody with Justin uh, five is Easton Six is Keegan, um, 11 is uh, Gene, and 22 is David. I hope I didn't miss anybody there. I'm um, trying to rattle them all off. But just really proud of this senior class and how they've taught these young guys how to fight for each other and fight for a culture and fight for the camaraderie that you need to win championships. So um, culture win. Um, proud of these guys for going behind the eight ball against Loris and then going down 0-2 against North Central and always believing in themselves to get a share of this thing. Pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, and I, you know, you, you look like a natural with that. Look like you've held one of those before, you know, on, <laughs> a, on, a, on a broadcast. Yeah, so um, slow starts have kind of been something. I, I was looking through some of yep, the, some of sure. the some of the matches and nine matches where you allowed your where you won but allowed your opponents to to win a set. Seven of those they took the first set. Yeah, first set was another one that was kind of back and forth until you guys hit about that twenty point mark and then really you kind of created some separation. Yeah. You've won 10 in a row now. You're getting hot at the right time. Good to get that first set win here as yeah. well. Um, is there anything, I mean, from a coaching perspective, anything that you can do about that? Or yeah. We're trying to we're trying to just be more focused in our warm-up of, like, um, one, of this thing, one of the things this team does really well is they compete with emotion and energy really well. And so, like, it's tough to get that going at 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, it just is. Like, it, you're, there's, there's nothing for you to give emotion to and get excited about, right? And that's what this, te this team really rides on, that emotion. And so um, they have to learn to, to bring it themselves, right? For one, well, the first big swing, the first big block, the first big dig, the first good pass, the first good set, is we got to celebrate that one really loudly and bring that emotion early and get going. And it starts in the warm-up about how they're celebrating the little things in the warm-up. And I think we just have to do a little better in the warm-up phases of hitting lines and the sixes in the warm-up of trying to celebrate some things and get people fired up and get going. Um, I think you know, Owen Otto is a perfect case of that. A little bit slow start, um, and he gets going, and this team kind of rides on his emotion. When, when, when Owen Otto talks at all, period, um, we get a lot of emotion. So when Owen gets going, it's nice for us. And today you had the added kind of senior senior day. I talked about yeah. that a little bit, and there's emotions with that, and it's kind of you've done your warm-ups, and now you yeah. have this 10-minute ceremony, yeah. and now you don't have any sort of warm-up. You just got to go right into it. And I was interested in seeing how the team handled that. Yeah. They seem to handle that pretty well. Really well. We ran like a little bit different of a lineup there in set one to try to get to, to get all of our seniors on the floor to start, um, which is super cool we got to do. To get Justin Jurdat back there, um, to serve the first two balls. It was cool he won the first point to give him a second ball, but to get him on the court for his last um, play as a, as a Firebird um, was important to get all those seniors the start and to get you know the video board and everybody riled up for those seniors um, was important to us to play for them. And, and because of that, we came out in a little bit different of a lineup. Um, and, and so it just took us a little bit to get going in that new lineup and that new phase. And um, you know you saw in two and three when, when we're playing Carthage Volleyball, it's just really fun and, and tough to stop. The offense just comes at you. Um, from different areas of the court, from the left side, from the right side, from the middle. Um, th there's just so much pressure all the time. And, and David takes a ball in the center of the court and rotates to the right and hits a middle and a right pinball in the same rally. Um, 
Our ability to use the entire length of the net this year makes us pretty elite. And Gene's ability to distribute that ball across the entire length of the net uh, this year makes us elite. So proud of our guys, proud of our battle, um, and excited to continue to go to war for one more match in the semifinals and, and you know, keep, keep grinding. A month ago when I was last here with you, I think we talked about like trying to ramp up as yeah. the season went on and kind of hit being being hot, playing your best volleyball at the right time. Yeah. How close do you think you are to that right now heading into the CCIW tournament? Our best ball, I think, you know, there's always more to get, um, especially with a young group that we have. There's always more that we can do. There's always more we can get better at. Um, but you're, you're seeing the offensive connections that we need to have. I think that can continue to get a little bit cleaner. Um, but when you talk about what really good teams do well, it's defense. Winning championships is about defense. Everybody can play offense in the, in the CCW tournament. Like that, that Augustana team is a good offensive team. Um, everybody can play offense. Um, Augustana, North Central, Loris, everybody can play offense. It's your ability to play defense consistently and locked in that wins. And I thought Zach Nolan was elite and left back today. Some big swings taken right at him. He made some big digs as that match went on. Um, you know, Ryan Cholowinski is an absolute wall at the net. A couple of defensive player of the year awards for him or conference, you know, player of the week awards, excuse yep. me, for him. Um, just that ability to affect a match defensively and continue to play great volleyball with the offense and putting those both together is what we were missing early. And I think we're slowly marching towards putting both of those phases of the game together, both our offense and our defense together. So um, that's what championship volleyball is, 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 like you said, peaking at the right time, going upward. We're, we're going the right direction. We're not there yet, um, but we're going the right direction. A lot more work left to give there. Um, but that's really just about the culture and how these guys fight for each other to win every single day. And can we maintain that gym energy every single day, that fun energy every single day? And I think we'll be all right. One of the things that I noticed today that I don't know that I noticed as well uh, when I was with you a month ago was it seemed that defensively you were reading the attack a lot better. I yeah. saw a lot more opportunities where you're going, where your your squad was able to go up with three blockers in an area. That seemed to be something that, that has maybe improved over time. Yeah, I think it's just an effort to go do that. I think from time to time we struggle to, like, just do that. It's hard work to triple block. It's hard work to read an attacker outside of their body and make a dig, right? And those the ability to see the game well, but also to give that extra effort, that one extra step to go triple block, that one extra step to go r run down a high line roll shot, that one extra step, not taking that one extra step, I guess, to be calm and letting the ball get hit right at you, um, is discipline combined with effort and, and that creates good defense. So um, we found that I think la I think last month, I really do agree with that. The, the, the discipline with the effort uh, both have really increased mightily here in the last two, couple weeks for sure. Postseason's a little bit different. Your squad is familiar with that. Yes, we are. What, what are you looking at out of your squad here in the tournament and, and hopefully beyond? Nothing different, one match at a time. That's the, that's the goal and it's hard to produce unless you've done it before. Um, we got a lot of guys that know how to compete um, taking like, one point at a time, one moment at a time, one game at a time. And um, we we're really elite with our scouting reports um, to lock in on those. We're really elite on understanding how we want to attack teams throughout matches. Um, and that's what matters, lock in on this moment, this point. Uh, and, you know, we talk about being relentless a lot, being consistent a lot with our focus and our effort. Um, and if you do that throughout the year, nothing changes when you're in the tournament. Relentless, consistent. If you do that all season long, you just play the same volleyball you've been playing all season long. And that's what we're going for. The same volleyball we played all month long here in that high run of Carthage volleyball. So nothing different. Lock in a scout, do it really, really well, and give a lot of effort. Coach, congratulations again on at least a share Appreciate of it. that of that CCIW regular season championship. But I know you have higher hopes for this team entering sure. the entering the postseason. Thanks, man. Great, great to have you here and uh, go birds. Thank you much, sir. That was head coach J.W. Kike for following his team's straight set victory here tonight over Augustana, 25-20, 25-19, and 25-18. Just one more update for you from Dubuque in set four. Loris up on North Central, 16-11 there. So make sure you go check that one out to see how it finishes and see whether Carthage are the co-CCIW regular season champs or outright still an opportunity for that. I want to thank our entire crew here today, Addie Weeks, Allison Coclamis, and Sophia Salcedo for helping us out on the production end of things. I'm Don Wadowitz, Carthage straight set winners over 
Augustana here at the Tarble Arena. Please have yourself a wonderful rest of your weekend. Live life to the fullest. Be good to one another, everyone. This has been Carthage College Firebird Broadcast Production.